<laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. It's Holly Rocks. Um, It's time for your daily dose of TikTok, everyone. I think I have another customer service. Well, I think it's a great yes, idea. Yes, customer service. Yeah, totally go for it. Yes, of course. Well, you let me know, okay? All right, then. Well, you have a great day, and thank you for calling customer service. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Hello, you're through Aww. customer service. My name is Michelle. How can I help you today? That reminds me of my friend Shelly I work yeah, with. Yeah, that is no problem. She's talking about how she cries sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I love you, Shell. Is this you, girl? Is that you, Shelly? <laughs> just had people behind me such bad customer service that you just couldn't even believe it like the worst that you've ever had yeah so when my son passed away i think it was two to three weeks later i was still very upset of course um, distraught and i know it was about three weeks later because i was going back to work um <clears throat> he had a bank account and I had access to his phone and his email, and I could see that he had a good amount of money in there, but I could also see that he had automatic bills that were coming out regularly. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have the authority to cancel his bills. So I had a feeling that they might not be able to help me, but I was like, oh, let's see what I can do. So I went down to the bank that he had at the time, which was SunTrust, but it was converting over to Truist, and I brought his ID, his bank card, the birth certificate with me as his mom, and his funeral bill. Aww. And when I walked in, I explained to the girl in the lobby what I wanted to do. And she went in the back into like a little doorway. Wasn't soundproofed at all. I could hear her kind of repeat what I said. And then I could hear the other lady just start cursing. And as she's walking to the door, she's like, why can't these people pick up a fucking phone? So Whoa. I'm already distraught. I'm already upset. Um, that just made me super tense. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, maybe if she hears the story from me, she'll be a little more compassionate. Oh, I would report her to the branch manager. No. Um, we walk into like a little office area for banking and I explain everything to her. I tell her, I don't want to close his account. I realize I can't do that, but I want to see if I could put a hold on it. So he's not ended up overdrafting because it takes forever for you to get a death certificate. Luckily for me, it was only about three months. Yeah. And she looks at me and with no compassion whatsoever, she's like, ma'am, your son was an adult. You were not on his account. Wow. I cannot help you. And I was like, I, I don't want you to do anything that you can't do, but can we just freeze it? So bills don't continue to come out. So that way it's not overdrafted because there's never going to be more money coming into that account. And she rolls her eyes and she looks at me and she puts her finger down on the desk and she's like, what you can do is once you get that death certificate, you can come back in and then you can pay any debts he may owe at that time. Whoa. No, ma'am. No. He is an adult and I'm not on his bank account. Oh, that's horrible. That's so horrible. So you messed up my food. Where's your name tag? Who are you? Where's your manager? You don't wear a name tag? Okay, so you mess up our food and you don't want to give us food back. But there's a whole line that's back to the side there. And I already waited 20 minutes to get into this. So you want me to wait again when you fucked up my food and you don't wear. So who's the manager? You? Are you the manager? Then who's the manager? You don't know? Okay. I don't think he can even we'll hear her. Like, dude, I wanted to... I, like, that guy looked like a fucking smartass. Whoa. What is Xfinity, y'all? Is that like internet? Ma'am, there isn't any reason for me to... Ma'am... 
Whoa. I would have hung up on her. Okay. Uh-uh. Okay, ma'am. All right. Okay. Okay, give me... Don't say another word to me! Whoa. I'm gonna put you on hold, ma'am. Whoa. Nobody. <sighs> That's insane. On, she needs Thank help. Thank you so much for your patience. So I did just verify that we got that mailed out to you on the 13th. Yes, ma'am. So I'm not sure what. Hello, Miss Evelyn. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Awesome. I just wanted to make sure because we seem to be talking at the same time and we won't get much accomplished that way. Yes, nice. ma'am. So we had it sent out to you on the 13th. Now, I can't advise on why you haven't received it. This is ALR that you've reached. You may want to contact the post office. Yes, ma'am. We can't track the mail trucks. Yes, ma'am. I am sorry you don't have it yet. They'll call them and see if they're behind. Okay, was there anything else that I can help with? I'm sorry, no, ma'am. I don't know why you don't have it. Oh, yeah. I love that. So Aww. sorry. Was there anything else that I could help with? All right, well, thank you again for... <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be everything for you today? Yeah, that's everything. I'll pay with my card. Great. Would you like a bag? Yeah, a MasterCard, please. Would you like a bag for your items today? I would like to pay with my card. Of course, on the machine. Would you like a bag today? Just on MasterCard, please. Oh okay, my God. All right, uh, the machine's already for you. Would you like your receipt today? Yes, please. All right, here's your receipt. Thanks for shopping with us. Have a nice day. Um, hello. Hi, yeah, can I help you with anything else? Well, I need a bag to carry all my stuff out. Oh, so you do want a bag? Well, paper bags are five cents. Well, that's outrageous. Why didn't you tell me that before? Is it like your first day or something? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll give you one complimentary today, but now you know for next time. Yeah, we could have avoided all this if you just told me about it, but whatever. All right, well, have a nice day. Oh, my God. There, I mean, there are people like that. There are people like oh, that. He was broke. <laughs> Fucking Popeyes. Shit's always popping off at Popeyes. Especially in New Orleans. So no one's going to take my order? That one chick's just straight up filming. Yes, absolutely. I can definitely check in that information for us. Would it be okay if I could place you on just a brief two to three minute hold while I check into it for us? Oh my goodness, thank you so much for holding for me. I greatly appreciate it. One moment, okay? Fuck. Oh my god. God, I should quit. I should just quit. I should quit. No, but I can't quit. I can't quit. I need money. Uh -huh. It's yeah, fine. It's every fine. day. It's fine. We're going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Might be rude. Yeah, take going, that shot. Okay. Take a puff. Get it together. Okay. We're going to make it through. much for holding for me i greatly appreciate your patience fucking real deal right there you nailed it the giving tree giving a skateboard Oh my gosh like all that shit is so true y'all if y'all have never worked a customer service job that all almost every scenario that you're seeing is so fucking true. It's insane. And I didn't this is a new world to me. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. So it's just crazy. Because in the medical field, when you work with psych patients that talk to you like that, you're like, you better back it up or you're not gonna get your medication or we'll put you in restraints, bitch. Get but get the fuck back. So yeah, I've had to learn how to just tone it down and just be like, <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, y'all seen some stuff while I was talking, wrapping up this video. I enjoy my customer service videos. Those are pretty cool because I can relate to them really well. Awesome. <laughs> I should do a video about all the different companies that you can work from home right now that are hiring because there's quite a few. I get a lot of notifications for different companies. I might do a video for that. Y'all comment and let me know if y'all want to see something like that. Um... First five comments gets a discount code to my store. I have two, Holly Rocks and Maz Posse Designs. 
The links will be in the description if I've not already said that. If I have, I apologize. Um, but yeah, go. I got stickers, socks, joggers, shorts, tanks, t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, glasses. I've got all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, check out the spring sales, man. I got some spring codes and no stores. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. And guess what? I got a, hang on a second. I got a question from Cheya Gleason in Easton, Pennsylvania. Oh, my brother lived there. What if you won $10 million? If I won $10 million, guys, first of all, I'd probably cry for about a good hour. Just like maybe sitting in the middle of the floor, kind of hugging my knees, you know, like, oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> and um, I would quit my job. I would. I'd put in a two weeks notice. I'd be like, look, if y'all aren't going to make me to, if y'all aren't going to promote me to trainer, I'm fucking out. This senior advisor shit sucks. So that's what I would do. And I would invest that money into my stores, into marketing, advertisement, stuff. <laughs> um, I'd be able to buy like way more samples and give out to people. That'd be so cool. And I would pay off all my student loans and any debt that any of my family members, intermediate family members have. And um, yeah, and I would, I would probably take it like a big lump sum and then the rest over so many years. So I wouldn't want it all at once because of the taxes on that. But I mean, I'm making this video um, with maybe $80 in my bank account right now. I'm so freaking broke. I paid all my bills last week. And uh, it's like you get that paycheck. Like my grocery bill was like 200 and something dollars for two weeks. Like 200 and something dollars for two weeks. I don't know. Do y'all think that's expensive? Because I really feel like that's expensive. Um, Because it's just me and Philip. <laughs> but then again, I only leave the, my farm like once a week and like th I don't ever eat out. I don't eat out anymore. No more Starbucks. No, none of that. So all my meals and snacks are, I have to think about that. So I don't know. Do y'all think that's good, bad? I mean, I feel like I'm getting fatter. I feel like I was thinner eating crappy than <laughs> now when I eat really decent, but I don't know. I'll have to join a Zumba class or something. Uh, but anyway, God, $10 million would be so awesome. Um, dang, Chaya or Chaya, however you say your name, you got me all thinking about money now and just, but yeah, I was, the reason I was saying something about how much money I have in the bank is I'm at work, you know, working in my little workshop, doing my job. And Philip, he goes off to work because he delivers for Amazon Flex program, making great money. So if y'all ever looking for extra money or need a job, sign up for Amazon Flex. It is so worth it. But, you know, he takes the van to work and he didn't even make it. The fucking water pump goes out. Now, isn't it our luck? We just paid for everything. <laughs> We just, we, both of us, we got our groceries, we did our laundry, we, you know, paid all our little bills that made the insurance, car payment, um, all that stuff, credit cards, all that shit. And we're like, okay, um, yeah, you hustle the next couple of days, that'll be on your Wednesday check or Thursday check or whatever for this week. And then we'll be good till next week. You start, you know, you're living paycheck to paycheck. Um, cause yeah, I'm not fucking rich at all like youtube don't make shit for me man um yeah i make i get by with my merch that's what i get by on so yeah that's why i always per, uh push it and this is actually one of the i have a t-shirt i ordered one of the samples of this design 
and I get so many fucking compliments on it. I have the dark navy blue in this design. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. Something about the, the astronaut series that I worked on that I I just really liked it. <laughs> All, I have the whole series of Maz Posse stuff that is like dead astronauts. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed to just do it. <laughs> anyway, um... Guys, I'm so high. I need to go. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see y'all in the next video. And Shayla or Shaya or however you say your name, I'm gonna find your email and I'll send you something from my store. Thank you for the question. Anybody else has any questions, just go ahead and send them to me. You can post them in the comments or you can send them to me privately um, through YouTube or Instagram. Do not message me through TikTok because I never check. There's way too many scammers on there. So talk to you guys later. Love all y'all. Bye. Thank you.